Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about environmental toxins and the impact on your health. Let's get into some of the components of environmental toxins. Volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, found in a lot of building materials, insulation, carpeting, flooring, and certain types of thick curtains. Um, and number two is lotions, insects, repellents, and perfumes. And that's something called trimelitic anhydrides. And these can be endocrine disruptors. Uh, carpet, foam. Let's talk about foam. They use foam mattresses and, and foam in your shoes and so forth. And foam is made out of polyurethane and it has an impact on things like asthma and cancer. So using these foam products is not the best for your health. Number four, cigarettes. We know the obvious impact on cigarettes. Car exhaust systems, um, uh, pesticides. With the cigarettes and car exhaust, we're talking about benzene, right? Benzene will be endocrine disruptors and it can create a lot of uh, issues uh, with asthma and so forth. Number five is plastics. Plastics is obvious. Bisphenol A, right? It can create cancer or thyroid disruptors, right? It affects hypothyroid issues. So what I would recommend is not using plastic for water bottles, cooking, using it for microwaving. Right? It's very detrimental to your health. The other one is furniture. A lot of furniture now come with fire retardants and they become endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruptor means certain hormones that regulate the endocrine system, right? Like your thyroid or insulin, right? It can impact the endocrine system. So it's very um, detrimental to our uh, hormone systems. Dry cleaning, right? It has something called tetrachloroethylene and it's related to cancer. Let's go on to the second side here. And we're looking at other environmental toxins. And the other one would be mercury, right? Mercury is in our water, the ocean, you know, large fish uh, will uh, accumulate uh, mercury in their system. So you're looking at uh, fish that are large, like tuna, swordfish, right? Um, the larger fishes tend to have more mercury in them. Dental, dental amalgams, those silver fillings. Every time you chew, you're giving off a little bit of mercury, right? So dental amalgams can be problematic. Another thing is body and hair care products. A lot of lotions and potions are being used especially within the younger generations, and it has things like parabens in them, which can be also very detrimental. And a lot of these VOCs, uh, environmental toxins, and so forth, are really endocrine disruptors and it impacts detoxification systems. Another one is dental implants. When you have a lot of dental implants, these are metals, right? Uh, metals that are screwed into the bone and it will leach some of the, the metal into your system. So what do we need to do? That's the question, right? We are bathing in environmental toxins. What do we do to help ourselves, right? So the first thing we can do is, in the home, you wanna open your windows and air out your house, at least for like 15, 20 minutes every day. You could use exhaust fans, put a little window fan in there, one does it, uh, an outtake and an intake. And you can exchange the air in your house frequently. So an exhaust fan would be helpful. Wash your fabrics, right? Especially those things that you never have to even like iron, clothes that you don't have to uh, iron, or like carpeting that you can actually wash if you can. You wanna wash those fabrics to get rid of some of these environmental toxins. You want to use natural skincare products whenever possible, right? Um, a lot of these uh, commercial skincare products have a lot of different chemicals in them. Another one is avoid foam, right? Foam mattresses, foam pillows, foam inserts, foam furniture, avoid them. You also want to use non-toxic flooring, um, wood, natural wood, etc. 
and then also natural furniture that has a lot of um, uh, that doesn't use a lot of these uh, chemicals to, to to press the wood and so forth. The way you can tell is basically you can smell this stuff. When you bring in new furniture, you can smell the chemicals off of it. It's gassing off chemicals, right? You want to have a car filtration system that's good. And then when you're in heavy traffic, you actually want to just recirculate the air within the car, not take it in from the outside. So filtration, the good filtration at home, right? You need a HEPA filter with probably carbon in there to uh, minimize air pollution or VOCs within the house. Avoid amalgams, fillings in your mouth. You want to avoid them, the silver ones. Um, there are other composites that can be used that are less toxic to our system. Avoid plastics. Don't cook with plastic. Don't store hot beverages in plastic. Don't use styrofoam cups, right? Do not microwave these uh, plastic um, Tupperware, right? You do not want to do that because plastics will leach, especially within the heat. Don't use, um, leave water bottles, like the plastic water bottles in your car in the summertime. That's the worst thing you could do. It heats up and it starts to leach the, the bisphenol A into the water. Avoid fire retardants. It's, it's hard to avoid, but you can't find them. Avoid dry cleaning whenever possible, right? And then lotions and soaps. There is a website called EWG, Environmental Working Group, ewg.org. What you want to do is take the different types of products that you use and go to this website and then plug it into like, their search engine, right? And it will actually give you a rating of the carcinogenic effects of these products that you use on your skin and your hair and so forth. So lotions and potions, you want to go ahead and check environmentalworkinggroup.org or ewg.org and make sure you have low risk of cancer for the products that, are you, that you are using currently. It's important to do that. It's an accumulation of environmental toxins that are causing health problems, right? Another thing you could do is liver detoxification, uh, saunas where you can sweat, right? Uh, proper hydration and filtration through the kidneys and proper bowel movements, high fiber diets, right? Where you can bind toxins within the gut and excrete it out. So if you can't avoid these environmental toxins and you do the best you can to do so, you want to change some of your lifestyle aspects so your body is more efficient in clearing out these toxins, okay? I have other videos on this where we talk about liver detoxification, uh, methylation, glucuronidation, sulfation, the, all these processes that occur through the liver to help things detoxify through our system. So go ahead and, and watch those videos. Um, it's very important to minimize our toxic load. Um, minimize it like stress load, right? Uh, and improve our health to the maximum. So even if we do get some exposure to these environmental toxins, we're not suffering as a result, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.